Hey, what is up nation? In this session, I'm going to be teaching you how to make different kinds of domes in SketchUp. Domes are really common in the built environment because they're really efficient with how they transfer loads. They take a single point load at the top and distribute it around a wide base. This helps us when we're modeling because we can think about that when we're constructing our dome. I'm going to start here with a really simple dome, a semicircular dome. So I'm just going to hit C to draw a circle and then draw that circle here. I'm going to delete this inner portion. Hit C again and then the right arrow key to lock to the red axis. And then draw a circle here. I'm going to cut that in half. And then a little trick here, I'm going to draw a vertical line out because I know exactly where the center is. Delete that little line. To make our dome, we're going to be using the follow me tool. So I'm going to select my path here and then come over here to the follow me tool and then select my semicircular shape. You can see then I get a dome. And obviously if you want to squish this a little bit, you can select and press S and then move that up and down to squish it. I'm going to make a copy of this dome and just drag it over here. And we're going to put an oculus in the middle or a hole. I'm going to group this up. Just select this guy, make it a group. Make this a group. And then just go all the way through. If you don't have this little toolbar here, just right click in this area and uh, you want to go to solid tools and then I'll bring this up. This icon here is the subtract tool. So if I select that, I'm going to select this first and then select my second group. The subtract tool can be a little bit annoying because it doesn't always seem to work. For instance, if I try to subtract this geometry that I just made, hit subtract, it says that this is not a solid. If I look at the bottom, I see that there is a bottom, um, and I don't quite understand what's going on. If I click on that and hide the rest of my groups, you can see I still have that line in the middle. Uh, because that line is not is extra information, um, and it's not part of the solid, that's what's causing the issue. So if I hit subtract again, you can see that I have that option. Also, if this didn't have the bottom here, if it wasn't a closed group, uh, and I go to subtract, it won't let me do that either. Uh, for whatever reason, if you have a face and you need to subtract from it, the way that I always do that is I hit Control X on a grouped geometry that's in the location that I want to subtract. I go into the group that I want to subtract from. I go to Edit, Paste in Place, Select All, Intersect Faces with Selection, and then I delete my face here. And you can see I have an Oculus. Uh, that's on that single face. But not all domes have a base that's a circle. If I want to make a dome that has the base of an octagon, I can do that in SketchUp as well. If I press the C key for circle, you can see down the bottom right it says sides. Currently that's set by default to 24. If I change that to 8, when I draw the circle you can see now that it has 8 sides. Get the center here choose the blue axis to draw up. I'm going to hit A for the arc tool. Choose this midpoint here. And then I'm just going to make sure that I'm in that same plane. So I'm going to hit the shift key when I'm there. Just draw a little uh, arc here. Delete this inner portion. Select my path. Follow me. Choose the shape. As you can see, I have a pointed arch dome now. If you wanted these to be a little bit crisper, you could obviously go to View, Hidden Geometry, and come in here and trace over these lines. And that would tighten things up a little bit. But if that's something you know going into this, what you can do to resolve that is actually use the Polygon tool instead of the Circle tool. So if I hit the Polygon tool, come over here and draw, hit Size 8, draw another Polygon, I'm going to delete the middle here. Draw my shape, A for arc, locking here, hitting shift, close my shape, delete the middle, select my path, follow me, shape. You can see now I have my ridges. 
Let's squash this a little bit. Turn hidden geometry off. And this is really useful if you want to do something maybe a little bit more um, geometric. And what can be really cool about having these lines is that then you can create ribs on the outside. So if I hit C for a circle, I'm going to change this back to 24, the default. I'm going to go to one of these corners and draw a circle. I'm going to be over-exaggerated a little bit. Select our path. I'm holding uh, control here just so that I get the selection and not the deselection. So there's our path. Select follow me and choose that rib. That's a little bit fat. And I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to select all of these. Because I don't want to accidentally select anything else. Make that a group. Then make that group a component that rib come into here I'm gonna smooth that a little bit there you go choose my midpoint hit the up arrow to lock to the blue axis I'm gonna select that so you can see now I have two of those. If I hit multiply seven, since I have an octagon, I'll make seven copies of that. You see that just makes something that's maybe a little bit cooler. And you can always experiment and, and start to make different kinds of dumb. So if I select the polygon tool here, extrude this up, select that shape, hitting M to move down to that distance and then hit, let's say five. I get five instances here, and maybe I want to just sort of eyeball these. So I'm hitting S for scale, and then um, the control key. This is a, be a different kind of dome. <laughs> just gonna smush these. Let's see what we can do. All right, so I have that, and maybe I want to rotate these. Let's start with a midpoint. Try to get one. There we go. Just draw vertically out of here. So if I want to rotate this, I don't know, five degrees. start to get these like weird shapes. So if I want to make a kind of spiral, I could select this, say five, and deselect that, say five. And this dome is starting to look really cool, but it's kind of distracting geometrically. So obviously you could come in here and turn off or hide these lines but it's still not quite there. And if I select everything and soften it, it just kind of <laughs> ends up looking like a blob. So uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna strategically soften this dome. But because we constructed our geometry out of these polygons, we can't actually select a single side. So what we're going to do is select the polygons that we used and we're going to explode those curves. I'm going to select these two faces and on soften edges I'm just going to go slightly a little bit until that goes away. Now we could reconstruct this all together because this is a, all these sides are equal. So if I select this guy, come there, times seven. I don't have to go through and click on every side. I just have that geometry. It's a little bit of a, a cheat, 
So hopefully this helped. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And as always, happy hacking. All right, designers, just because this episode of Designer Hacks is over doesn't mean we're leaving you out in the cold. Tony's got tons of great content available at designerhacks.com. So join Design Nation right now, and we'll see you on the next episode of Designer Hacks.